this is Kristen Duncan with Keller Williams Professionals Realty in Asheville, North Carolina. And today I want to talk about comps. So you hear this word a lot in real estate. Um, you go in a home you love, you want to make an offer, and your real estate agent says, I want to pull comps. Uh, comps refer to similar properties, comparable properties that have sold in the area. And it's going to give us an idea of how the subject property should be priced. So when we're looking at comparable properties, we are only allowed to go back 365 days. Or when I say allowed, I mean an appraiser is only allowed, someone who's officially pricing the property, to go back 365 days. So if a home sold on day 366, probably not going to be a good comp. These days, with the market changing so quickly and with prices rising quickly, I like to look at really the last six months or even 90 days, depending on the community. So homes that are in a community with very similar homes, um, you know, lots of comps, those are a little bit easier. The running numbers can get a little more complicated if it's a custom home or there's really nothing like it in the area. Um, a Victorian home would be a great example. We don't see too many of those these days and sometimes it can be hard to pull the comps. Same thing with a cabin. If you see a log cabin, um, you know, that was built in the 80s or the 70s, even older, versus a new construction property, we're kind of comparing apples and oranges there. So your real estate agent is going to take a few uh, items into consideration, which is going to be the year the property was built, how much land the property uh, is situated on, um, how many bedrooms and bathrooms, square footage. Bathrooms is a big one, a one, you know, one bathroom house, is gonna price less than a two or three bathroom house, for example, because a, a bedroom can be added pretty easily or not. A bathroom is a little bit tougher. Um, does it have a garage? Does it have a view, maybe a mountain view, lake view? That's going to add a lot of value, golf course view. So we're going to take all of these things into consideration when we pull comps, but we want you to make your offer based on the recent sales. And I always try to include, of course, closed properties that have already sold, but I also want to include some pending properties, if at all possible, when I pull comps, because I want to see how the market is trending. And another thing we can see from the comps is how quickly did the house go under contract? Was it listed two days and it already went pending? likely that pending house is going to be close to full price or even higher. Now, if it was on the market for 60 days, that's gonna be something to take into consideration. So I hope you understand what we mean when we say we're going to pull comps. That's one of the most, comp or most common uh, phrases that us real estate agents throw around.